Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to add two numbers using Visual C++ 6.0 IDE, where IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to add two numbers using Visual C++ 6.0. In order to achieve this task, we should open Microsoft Visual C++ 6.0. How to open Microsoft Visual C++ 6.0? It's quite simple. Go to Start, where you can able to find Microsoft Visual Studio 6.0. Navigate to Microsoft Visual C++ 6.0. Once again, I repeat the process. Go to Start. Where you can able to find Microsoft Visual Studio 6.0, navigate to Microsoft Visual C++ 6.0. Just click it in order to open it. In order to open Visual C++, go to File, go to New. Where you can able to find Files, click on Files, and click on C++ Source File and provide a name. Once again, I repeat the same process. Go to File. Go to New, and go to Files, and click on Visual C++ Source File, and provide a name, and click OK. When you click OK, where you can able to find an area. This is called as a workspace where we are going to key in our code. First, we are going to use Ash. It's called as a preprocessor, followed by the keyword include, and followed by the header file iostream.h where io stands for input and output stream and followed by one more header file ash include con io.h followed by the main method I'm going to use integer main and open and close parenthesis and followed by open and close curly brace and this is an area where we are going to key in our code now i'm going to declare two data types called integer a and b to store two values integer a and b so what is a variable variable or nothing but the container is used to hold values now i'm going to declare two variable of integer type to store integer values now i'm going to display an information to the user stating that addition of two numbers and I'm going for next line by using and all and now I'm going to use see out statement to display an information to the user stating that enter a value and I'm going to read this value I'm going to get the input from the user I'm going to store the input on the variable a using the C in where C out is an C output stream where C in is an C input stream again I'm going to use C out to display an information to to the user enter B value and I'm going to store it in the variable B now I'm going to display the result let's say and then I'm going for next line and let us say result and again I'm going for and then and then I'm going to display A plus B and I'm going to use the method get search in order to make the output screen visual until or unless the user key in a value and then anyway we have used integer main we should return an integer value so I'm going to return 0 so now I'm going to explain so we are in need of two integer variables in order to store the values 
and I'm going to use the C out statement to display some addition of two numbers and I'm instructing the user to enter the A value. I'm going to store the value in the variable A. And next, I'm asking the user to enter the B value and I'm going to store the value in B. And I'm going to add A and B and show the result to the user. So, go to build, compile it, click S, where you can able to find zero errors and zero warnings and go to build and execute yes so this asking for enter a value enter the a value and enter the b value where you can able to find the result is 30 this is how you want to use visual c++ for addition of two numbers once again i repeat the program here integer a and b are two variables which are used to store integer values. I'm going to get the import from the user. I'm going to store the first value in A and second value in B. And I'm going to display the result. After all the things are done, just build it. Just go to build and compile it. Where you can able to find zero errors and zero warning. And next, go to build and execute the program. So enter the A value and enter the B value where you can able to find the result. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.